Welcome to this demonstration on how to use Camelize for head cam analysis and orienteering. Camelize is a good tool for head cam analysis because you can use it offline. You don't need internet to use it like for a 2D rerun or the attack point solution. Also you don't need to upload your uh, video anywhere, you can use it on your local computer. Uh, the uh, the problem is that the software is not 100% finished. There are um, some small bugs and uh, you also need to have the right video codecs. For uh, video codecs, please check the article at uh, otraining.net. Also, you can ask in, in the comments there. The, the error messages in Camelizer are not always the best. Sometimes just nothing happens. But uh, if you find a workflow with one video, you should be able to do the same with more videos afterwards. To uh, get up with a new video after a training, it typically takes between 5 and 10 minutes. So it's, it's quite fast. Camelize is, uh, is open uh, to use. Uh, it's free. But uh, if you use it, I recommend you to donate to, uh, to the man who, who made the program so it can be improved in, in the future. Download is uh, done on uh, camelize.wordpress.com there, uh, there is a download link and uh, when you download it you get a zip file which you just pack, in, pack out into a directory on your, on your computer. Uh, when you start the program uh, you get something like this. What you have to do then is uh, new and input a video, a map file and a root file exported from QuickRoot. We'll go through the steps in QuickRoot now so you see exactly how you need to do it for uh, erase analysis. So I've got uh, QuickRoot here. I open, uh, I make a new file in, in QuickRoot I open the file, the map file from the race. It's just a scanned image. I uh, open the uh, GPX file, which is taken from uh, Garmin Watch, and I say OK. What we have to do then is to uh, do the normal job of adjusting the the route. As the map is scanned, it's not perfect so we have to do some adjustments here it's not like in, in in 2d and 3d run you can adjust with as many points as you want still I recommend you to to try with only a few points first and then see how it how it goes uh, because then you get a better match so uh, we had one point there we uh, take another point uh, here like this it looks like the the watch in this case did not have a a perfect uh, gps fix at the start so it's difficult to get it uh, fixed very well with only two points i will uh, therefore use a few more points to get a good fix here, here, here. I could have prepared this uh, up front, but I thought it would be better to, to show you exactly how much time you use and, uh, and the procedure to, to do the fix. So we can, uh, we can zoom in here and uh, do additional uh, fine tuning. Here it looks uh, quite okay. Okay. So I think we are satisfied enough. In Camelize it's, uh, it's good to have splits on each control that makes the, the view better. It's not absolutely necessary 
but uh, I think we just put on some splits. If you use uh, the GPS watch, you can add the splits with the watch while you're running. Alternatively, you can uh, check that you get the correct splits by uh, by checking uh, the splits times from from the electronic timekeeping. Now I just added some uh, some splits like this. Then it's uh, we're ready to export the files that Camelize needs. Uh, first, we export the image file. Ah, one moment. We make the root transparent because that will look better in Camelize. Then we export the image file. And we just call it uh, with root in 100%, it should be. Then we export the root data. Very important here, sampling interval must be two seconds. If not, nothing works. Uh, you should include most of the data which is here. You could include all. The only thing, I get an error message here with this case if I say include direction deviation. I don't know why. An error in, in quick route, but no big problem. I just took it away and now everything is, uh, is okay. So I say okay here. We uh, take the name which is suggested. And now we have uh, root data and we have the um, image file. So uh, let's open up uh, Camelize and uh, say new then we choose our video file uh, I've taken a video file with uh, with a Go GoPro camera when you start up Camelize without installing any special drivers on a fresh Windows 7 install it will not work with GoPro so I had to install some drivers and then it worked Another thing with GoPro is that if the image fi video file is too big, it is divided into two. In Camelize, you have to make one analysis for each part and choose a separate video offset for each. Now we take the first part of, of the video, say open. We take the map file, which we exported, the width root file from Quick Root. And we take the XML file, the root file, which we exported from Quick Root. Then we say uh, OK. And wait, it takes maybe one minute, no, 10 seconds, something like that. And we'll soon see the map coming up here. Still uh, nothing happens. It might be because uh, map file and XML file is, is quite big in this in this case. Okay, we try again, click start, not responding. As I said, this is uh, a software with some, some errors in and now, now we got there. Okay, so uh, I usually click auto center map and to start the video, we click just play. There we are, there we have me. I'm not the head cam runner in this case. And we see that uh, the video has not started to, to go while the GPS has started. So we need to set an offset. Um, now, 20, 21, it looks like we should have an offset of maybe 27 seconds, I would say. We will try with 27. Now we see the GPS is here, camera is here. To check if uh, if we have hit, we can go to the control by taking the slider, or maybe some place on the map which is easy to see. Here we pass the the stone wall. 
you see we're maybe a little too early still so we can change the offset here like we want now an offset of uh, 33 seconds looks like it may, might be okay we go to the control and here we are at the control okay that looks okay uh, and then we can use the slider to go somewhere else in the course let's see here when we approach control number two and uh, we see that we've got a uh, quite good fit can move further towards uh, the open field here which should be quite easy to see on on both the video and on uh, on the gps and we see that when we move towards the uh, open field on uh, on the gps we also move towards the open field on the map so i'd say this uh, this is okay i won't talk too much about the features uh, in uh, camel eyes but uh, as you can see we uh, we always look at one leg at a time in the, the lower window we have our current position in the upper window there are some uh, info here how far how many meters is it to the control how uh, long compared to straight route and so on you can also change the, the field show your speed and so on 1030 per kilometer and there are also possibilities to tag areas and so on i will not go through that now but uh, you can take a look at that if you are uh, interested it's also possible to go to a control i can go now to control number seven um, that looks like it maybe made some problems because the video doesn't go so far so we go to control three instead looks like we need pause and play as you see it's uh, it's not perfect there are some uh, some small problems in in the software still i would say it's uh, it's very useful software you can uh, you can use it well for for analysis if you find your, your workflow uh, it should be very easy and fast to use for for your races so uh, please consider using it and if you use it i uh, would again say please donate to to the man behind the program because that will make it possible to to make it even more useful and get rid of these uh, these bugs thank you very much for uh, for following and uh, remember to check out otraining.net